Hello my lovely Libras. Let's get straight into your reading today, shall we? So we're gonna do a relationship spread. So if you're in a relationship, a long-term one, or just starting a relationship, and you want some advice, then this would be for you. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Two of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Tower. Um, and then we've got the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands energy here. So this side here, Libra, is your energy, and this side is their energy. Okay, so how you are... Um, thinking right now is the two of swords for some of you i do feel that there are choices that need to be made i feel a strong energy of do you stay or do you go you're not sure what's what to do with with this relationship there's part of you that wants to stay you've been together a while or you feel there might be um there's a strong chance that this could grow into something but i also feel that you're not a hundred percent sure and you're not sure you're not sure what to do and i feel for some of you you know that this choice is coming but you're trying to ignore it you're trying to kind of pull it behind you and think it hoping it will just kind of go away and you don't have to make that choice and it will just kind of resolve itself or sort itself out because she's got the blindfold here so she doesn't want to make the choice but I feel that to be able to move forward in the relationship or just to move forward with your own life, there's a choice that you need to make. Now, how they're thinking is the Eight of Cups. They're thinking of walking away. They're thinking of, they don't know whether they should be walking away and walking into something new. However, I'm also getting an energy that they have walked away from something to walk towards you. And you're not sure oh okay thank you thank you okay so i feel with this card here that somebody your person is in another relationship and they're trying to um get out of that relationship they're walking away from that relationship to walk towards you but you feel like this seems to be taking forever it seems to be taking a really long time uh, for this to happen um for them to get out of this situation so you're like do i do i stay and do i hold on to it and keep being patient or do I walk away let them deal with it and then see and then see what happens when they've actually walked away because that's where I feel that you're both you both are they're feeling like they want to walk away they're trying to walk away from a situation and never a never relationship or they're going through a divorce and they're, they're dealing with that right now and you're there thinking do I stay with this and do I be patient and uh, be there just as a, as a support or do I just walk away you don't want to make the choice, but you know you have to make the choice for your own well-being. So how you're feeling right now, Libra, is the queen of pentacles. You're feeling like, I need to focus more on me. I need to focus on my career. I need to focus on my family and um, the things that I want out of life. And you're, you, this is where you're stuck. Do I stay and have this as a distraction? Or do I... Just focus on me for now and let them deal with what they need to deal with. And then when that's finished, when they've walked away from that situation, then we can talk about us. You're very, very fiercely independent, Libra. Uh, you, and I don't, I feel like you've had to be. You've had to be independent. Um, I feel that a situation happened in your past where you, you were put in a situation where you lost everything and then you had to become fiercely independent really really quickly and you're just like you know what I just need to focus on me and my family I need to focus on what I want out of life um, I'm worried about if I depend too much on this person and then they don't walk away or there's always an excuse there's always a problem am I going to end up back where I am and you're starting to feel like if I can just focus on me just focus on what I want focus on um, my career myself my family um getting the things that I want, then whatever happens here, I know that I'm strong enough to deal with it. Their feeling, their energy, the way they feel is the page of cups. 
I feel that they really do have strong feelings for you, Libra. They're really curious about you. You're somebody that they've not kind of been with before. Um, you light them up. You, you fill them with joy. You make them question a lot of different things in life and, and different things about themselves. And they want a new beginning with you, but they are stuck in this situation that they're in now. And that's what they're struggling to move forward with. So they do have strong feelings for you, Libra. They really do have strong feelings for you. They want the new beginning with you. They want to know more about you. But this situation that they're in is stopping them from coming towards you. Because I feel that you are someone completely different that, and you've opened their eyes to what is possible. So at the moment, Libra, what you want, you feel that everything is kind of falling apart in this relationship. And you, you, you know that there is nothing that you can do and you're feeling quite helpless. You know that this relationship is um, going through a rocky patch. You know that things are either going to be a stay or go. And there's nothing you can do. You just feel like there's nothing I can do about it. I can't, I, I feel completely helpless. So the best thing for me to do is just to let it fall, focus on me and then let them deal with their own issues, their own, um, their own situation. Because if I got involved in it, I'm just going to make it 10 times worse. So the best thing to do is just to let it all fall apart. And then we can build it from the ground on a more stable foundation if we are to be together. And if we're not to be together, then at least you know. But you do feel like things are just falling apart around you and there's nothing that you can do about it to, to help. Because you know deep inside that if you do, you're just going to make things worse. What they want is the queen of wands. What they're looking for, they're trying to find the courage to walk away. They're trying to find the confidence to walk away because they know that you are someone extremely special. You're someone ex like very different and they want to get to know you more. But they, they're, they're struggling to walk away. They're struggling to... Uh, get that courage and that confidence to be able to move away from something to move towards your towards you now this could be that they have got a family there's children there's homes there's you know it could get quite messy if there's a third person involved here I mean there's nothing to say there is a third person involved in the cards but I am getting that strong energy that there is but with the queen of wands they're trying to get the confidence and the courage to be able to walk away from something and walk towards you because I believe that is what they truly want but they feel very um I don't even feel that they feel stuck because they know that they can do it but their consciousness is playing with them a little bit they're not sure what is the right thing to do rather than what they want to do so they're trying to decide do I do this and go for the things that I want or do I do the right thing by what everyone thinks you should do and stay so you know things that you know that things are falling apart and you know that you just have to let it fall and if you are to be together then you are going to be able to rebuild on a solid foundation but your person is trying really hard to find the courage to be able to walk away from a situation to be able to walk towards you so let's get some final cards for you, Libra. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups and the Fool card. So the Ace of Wands, in the past relationship, this person came in and offered you something or you actually know you offered them something. You open their mind. That's how I feel. I feel with this energy that you open their mind. You offer them a different way of looking at things. And I feel that you listen to them. And they felt heard by you. And then feelings just started to grow and grow and grow between you. So you could have met at work. You could have just met through friends. You, or 
what whatever or team building thing I'm getting here, whatever it may be, you been you you've met each other and you you've opened their eyes to a different way of seeing the world and seeing things that you haven't you've helped them see that it's not so much tunnel vision on a certain way, but it's it's not just black and white. It's for, the world is full of color. And that's what you kind of offered them and that's what attracted you to them in the first place. Now, in the present moment, you do have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very much in tune with their emotions. And I feel this is your energy. I feel that you are very emotionally balanced, Libra, because you are the weighing scale, so you can you are all about balance. And I feel that you've worked really hard on getting your emotions in check because you've been in so much pain, you've had so much heartache in your previous relationships that now you're very much, I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I trust my intuition. I, I know I know when something's not right and I know when something is right, but I can't do anything about it. So even though you have really strong feelings for this person, you also know that right now this might not be the healthiest situation for you to be in. And the, the, I feel that the universe is saying, continue to ground yourself, continue to keep your emotions in balance because it's going to help you through this situation. If you let your emotions run wild, you're going to get hurt again. Where I feel like your person is just letting their emotions run wild and they're just all over the place. Where because you've got the experience and the lessons that you've learned from previous situations in your life, you're much more emotionally balanced. And keep being that, keep being more balanced. So in the future, there is going to be a new beginning. So I do feel that in the future, there's going to be a new beginning between you and your partner. You are going to build that relationship on um, a solid foundational ground. I do believe that um, with this energy that I'm getting, that's what I'm receiving. But I don't think it's going to be yet. I, I feel that there need, your person needs to deal with their own shit right now. Um, there is going to be a big leap of faith. I feel this person is going to take a big jump and just going to do something. And I think it's going to be quite impulsive. It's going to be very much, I just had enough and it's done. And then there'll be a new beginning with you. But I feel that... I feel with the energy here that you need to... Be patient and bide your time. I feel that you need to be patient. I do feel that this person is going to be in your life for a long, uh, in, a, in the long term. But there's a situation that this person needs to deal with. And they are going to take a massive like leap of faith and just do what they, what they need to do. They're going to make that decision and it's going to do what they need to do. And then they're going to want to build a foundation, with a, a new beginning with you. So you've got the tower and a new beginning here. So things are going to fall apart, but things are going to be okay. And things are going to start afresh for you both. However, there, there's some stuff here that needs to be dealt with before you can do that. If you want to build a relationship on solid ground, then you need to bide your time. Okay, so... The advice for you is the three of wands. So the three of wands here is the advice is to know that there is more to this relationship. Know that the, and know that there is more out there. And it also means that for some of you, you might need to walk away yourself for a little while and let them deal with it. Because you do know that if you get involved in this, it's going to make this 10 times worse. And you don't need that shit. And you've got the King of Cups here going, no, you trust your intuition. Even though you might want to get involved, you keep your balance in, you'll keep your emotions in check. So that you don't get involved and you can leave that as it is can leave that where it is let them deal with it and then wait for them to come back to you let's get a lover's oracle card message for you um, okay deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right and i feel that for both of you Deep in your heart, you already know what the best thing for you to do is. Trust your intuition, trust yourself and do what is right by you. Okay, that is the most important thing. And then on the bottom of the deck, we do have um, the soulmate card here. 
okay so your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically okay so i do believe that this person could be your soulmate libra but right now i don't feel that you can quite be together because there's situations that need to be resolved um for you to have a solid relationship if you try and build the relationship now it's not going to land on um, it's not going to be on solid ground. It's not going to be a long lasting relationship because there's issues that need to be resolved before you two can start something new with no ties. So let's get an angel answer for you, uh, Libra. So think of a question you'd like to ask your guys and we'll ask them to answer with the cards. Anything is resonating with you, then please do drop it down in the comment box below. I'd love to know. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe as well. It will really help grow my channel and hopefully reach more people. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, then please do check out the link in the description box below. Um, my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, is uh, linked down there for you. Okay, so Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to Libra's question? Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll just pick that one up. So we do have uh, choose a new direction. So I feel for you, some of you right now is about, you know what, I'm going to choose a new direction. I'm going to go in a different way until this is resolved and this person can come back to me when they've sorted out their own problems, their own issues right now. You also got um, ask your angels whenever you're in doubt, whenever you're not sure, whenever you're too much in your head about things, then meditate and ask your angels um, and they will send you the answers and check out for signs along the way like white feathers and um, numbers matching up whatever it may be that's your angels telling you whether you're on the right path or not and then on the bottom of the deck we do have big happy changes so big happy changes are coming i just don't feel that they're going to be coming in the next few days or few weeks i think you're just going to have to be patient and bide your time that's all i've got for you today my lovely libras thank you for spending that time for me i really do appreciate it don't forget to hit the like and subscribe i hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today enjoy the rest of your week and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys